the correct approach for solving these questions is to imagine a number line and then equate each term here to 0. Okay, so you have this term would become 0 when x is equal to minus 2. This would be 0 when x is equal to minus 3 and this would be 0 when x is equal to positive 2. So plot each of these terms on the number line minus 3, minus 2 and positive 2. And now imagine there are these three terms when the value of x is more than 2 in this zone all the three terms are positive, right? Beyond 2, this term would be positive and therefore the other two would also be positive. Therefore, practically, we would have three positive signs. So it would be a plus sign here. Now, between minus 2 and positive 2, what would happen is that x minus 2 would become negative. The other two would still remain positive. So positive into positive upon negative, this would be something negative. Between minus 2 and minus 3, x plus 2 would become negative. So now two terms would be negative, one would be positive. So negative, negative, positive. Effectively, we will have something positive. And beyond minus 3, all the three terms will become negative and therefore the value of the expression would be something negative. A shortcut is that plot the terms here, we call them nodes plot each node on the number line, rightmost would be positive, thereafter alternate negative positive. And now we need to look at the values which are positive or zero. So this is one area, this is one area. Equal to sign is also there, so even two can be, even the nodes can be counted, okay? So the integer values less than five. So one may think that two, three, four, all three can be taken but that's not correct because when you assume 2 the denominator becomes 0 and the value of the expression becomes infinite which is practically not possible and therefore only 3 and 4 should be taken and uh, between minus 3 and minus 2 there are two terms minus 3 can be taken and minus 2 can be taken so these two give two more integers two integers here minus 3, minus 2 and 2 integers here. In all, there are 4 integer values which satisfy the inequality and are less than 5. And therefore, the correct answer cho choice is option D.